Bishop's High School goes green. With the recent relaunch of the Environmental Club, the school has embarked on numerous initiatives to promote environmentally friendly practices. Going green is the new mantra. We know that social awareness and the awareness of climate change is something that we have been pushing for a long time. But now it's time for action. Now it's time to not just talk about it, not just be aware of it, but to do something. And Bishop's High School staff and students, we are on our way to make some change. Ms. Ramnarine noted students have been longing for activities to regroup and work together with classmates. So she was elated when the science department made the decision to relaunch the environmental club. This is their inheritance and therefore it's important that they make it a good space. We haven't, I think, the generations before done a very good job and unfortunately it is our children's responsibility now to fix it and we want to support them. Head of the science department, Ms. Kimon Smith, says various stakeholders have supported the club in its initiatives. With the advice from I3 consultants, Ms. Joseph, she decided that she will donate 13 bins to us, recycling bins, as well as with consultation with the Tobago Recycling Initiative. We were able to get the community bin, which will help with us gathering the recycling waste materials. Ms. Smith noted education is a key element of their campaign to build interest and enthusiasm. We are going to, of course, recycle plastic cans, paper, tetra packs, and we are looking at going into the area of um, recycling food scraps. So going into bio waste. Yes, it starts with the students, but also with the staff as well, which we are getting their support in trying to promote this initiative. What we intend to do is to have like videos made, animations made, and other means of communication via social media pages. As the Environmental Club undertakes the education campaign, with support from Book of Reef Trust, Bethel Credit Union, RWL and Unitrust, they hosted an interesting event, a fashion show where both staff and students showcased their creativity. They were responsible for using recyclable materials or earth-based materials to create an outfit. And from this competition, we would have seen as well that a lot of the competitors would have used plastic as part, those single-use plastic. So it tells us what the majority of persons tend to use. The club plans to make the fashion show an annual event and include other secondary schools on the island. They are focused on ensuring students are involved. We will also be looking at utilizing some of these waste and trying to create some sort of statement piece that we can put on the compound as well. And it's something that we could continually add to so that it will, it will be a constant reminder that oh, this is waste and we are going to be reusing it and trying to make it beautiful. Third form student and member of the Environmental Club, Tia Santana, said at first she had no interest in the club, but later gave it some thoughts. I realized that it, would, it is an important thing to learn about and focus on, on the environment around us because this is where we live. This, we have to take care of it. And at the rate we're going, we could wipe each other out. We could. Environmental club is where I can start to do that because it's where I am. Another student, Daniela Taylor, said she wants to be a part of the change and hopes her schoolmates would get involved. When you think about the environment, if we destroy it now, it wouldn't have one for the future. They look forward to installing solar panels to power parts of the school, as well as solar-powered lights as part of their field development. I am Carissa Douglas for TTT News, and I love Tobago.